Hi there, and welcome to my tutorial on how to build this super awesome savings tracker in Excel. This tracker is awesome because you can set your goal, set how much you're starting with, and then you can lay out your savings plan below. From there, you can check off the amounts or even change them when you actually make the savings contributions, and you can visualize all of your progress in action. Plus, you can do this for up to five different savings goals. Now, if you don't have the time to build this template, that's okay. You can always get a copy via the link in the description. That being said, let's get started. First, we're actually going to turn off the grid lines by going to View, Uncheck Grid Lines. Then click here to select all cells, go to Home, and set the fill color to light gray. Also, change the vertical alignment to middle, change the horizontal alignment to left, then right click on the row headers, row height, set the size to 20, and click OK. Next, click the borders button and set the line color to this dark gray here. When you do, Excel might go into draw borders mode. To turn this off, go to borders, draw border. Then select B2 through D2, hold Control, also select B4 through D4, B6 through C7, B9 through C10, and B12 through C13. Then go to Borders, All Borders. From here, select Column A, hold Control, also select columns D, H, L, P, and T, then right click, column width, set the size to 6, and click OK. Then select columns B and C, hold control, also select columns F and G, J and K, N and O, R and S. Then right click, column width, set the size to 15, and click OK. Then select B2 through D2, merge and center the cells. Select B4 through C4, merge and center, and now enter the following values into your spreadsheet. Awesome. Our next step is to create the savings table at the bottom. So select the range B15 through D25 and go to Insert, Table. Check the box next to My Table Has Headers and click OK. Select a cell in the table, then under the Table Design tab in the ribbon, under Table Name, change the name to Goal Table. This is really important, so please don't skip this step. After that, select the whole table, go to Home, and set the fill color to No Fill. Go back to the Table Design tab, uncheck the box next to Filter button, then click the down arrow here and select New Table Style. Give the style a name, then select the whole table element, click Format, under Border, set the color to this gray here, click the Outline button, change the color to this lighter gray here, click the Inside button, and click OK. Select the Header Row element, click Format, change the border color to this gray here, click None, then Outline, move to the Font tab, bold the font, then click OK and OK. Alright, go back to the Table Design tab, click the down arrow here, and select your new custom style. Awesome. Now let's format the dates and numbers. Select B15 through B25, right click, Format Cells, and under the Number tab, select Date. Make sure that your location is selected here. 
then pick a date format that you like. If you can't find one that you want, move to the custom tab and use a combination of M's, D's, and Y's to create your custom date format. Personally, I like to use MMM space DD comma space YYYY and finally click done. Next, select column C and change the horizontal alignment to right and click this button to apply the accounting format. Then select column D and change the horizontal alignment to center. Next, select the merged cell on the top, bold the font, click the fill color button and click more colors. Then under custom, enter the hex code DEEDE4 -E and click OK. Then select the merge cell below, set the fill color to no fill, select cell D4, bold the font, and set the fill color to the custom green. Then select B6 through B7, bold the font, set the fill color to the custom green, select B9 through B10, bold the font, set the fill color to the custom green, Select B12 through B13, bold the font, and this time set the fill color to this light gray. Then select C6 through C7, bold the font, and set the fill color to no fill. Select C9 through C10, bold the font, set the fill color to no fill. Select C12 through C13, set the fill color to no fill, and change the font color to this gray here. Finally, select the headers in the goal table and set the fill color to the custom green. Awesome, now we're going to add checkboxes to the table. So select all of the cells under S and go to insert, checkbox. Now, if you're working with an older version of Excel, then you're not going to have this option, unfortunately. That's okay though, you can just enter X's instead whenever you mark your savings payments. And I'll show you how to change the formulas later on to accommodate the X's. Either way, it's time to write the formulas. Start with cell C12 and enter the following. Equals C7 plus sum function goal table open bracket, amount, close bracket, close parentheses, and press enter. Next, select cell C13 and enter the formula equals if function C12 less than C6, next argument, C6 minus C12, next argument, zero, close parentheses, and press enter. This formula checks to see if the planned amount is less than the goal amount. If so, you get the difference between the two. If not, we get zero, and we write it this way so that we don't get a negative value if the planned amount is over the goal amount. Next, select cell C9 and enter the formula equals C7 plus sum if function goal table open bracket, S, close bracket, next argument, true, next argument, goal table, open bracket, amount, close bracket, close parentheses, and press enter. Now, if you're entering X's instead of using the checkboxes, then your formula is going to look like this instead. Either way, you can test to see if it's working by checking a few boxes or by entering a few X's. Once you verify that it's working, select cell C10 and enter the following. Equals if function C9 less than C6, next argument C6 minus C9, next argument 0, close parentheses and press enter. After that, 
select cell D4 and enter the formula equals if function C6 equals zero, next argument zero, next argument C9 divided by C6, close parentheses and press enter. Now this might give you a decimal number. If so, click this button here to make it a percent. Let's also increase the font size to 12. Next, select the merged cell and enter equals D4 and press enter. And that does it for the formulas. So now let's add in the progress bar with conditional formatting. Select the merge cell and go to home, conditional formatting, data bars, more rules. Check the box next to show bar only, set the minimum and maximum to number, enter one for the maximum, then under fill, select gradient fill, and under color, select more colors, and then under custom, enter the hex code 5BA478, then click OK and OK. Awesome, only a few more formatting touches and we're done with our first savings goal. Select cell D4 and go to font color, more colors, custom, enter the hex code 488460 and click OK. Then select C9 through C10 and change the font color to the same green. Then select the checkboxes and change the font color there as well. Fantastic, it looks awesome. From here, just select the whole thing, which is B2 through D25, and copy the range. Select cell F2 and paste. Select J2 and paste. N2 and paste. R2 and paste. After that, you can rename the various savings goals like so. All right, all that's left now is changing the colors and getting rid of the filter buttons in the tables. First, select the second table and go to table design and uncheck filter button. Then do the exact same thing for the other three tables. Now for the colors. Instead of making you watch me go through all of the different mouse clicks, I'm just going to give you the hex codes for the various colors instead. That way you can pause the video, make note of the different colors, and then do them, and then come back to the video and do the next one, and then the next one. So first of all, here's the red one. And then here are the numbers for the blue one. Here are the numbers for the yellow one. And finally, here are the numbers for the purple one. Okie dokie, once you have that done, you're done. If you still have questions, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day.